wouldn't think go together. NASCAR racing, moonshine, maybe. But what about NASCAR racing, moonshine, and the theater? Hmm. That could be changing. Yeah, there's this play. It's called White Lightning, and it is premiering tonight. At, <laughs> get this, the Alabama Shakespeare Festival. And CBS 42's Al Radcliffe talked with the stars and some NASCAR legends about how this all works together. Fast money, fast car. I never <laughs> thought that would happen for sure. Yeah, that's a silly, silly thought, but no, it worked so well. Those are just a couple of the first impressions of the culture shock, the outlaw history of stock cars, and the theater. Racing legend Bobby Allison raced for Junior Johnson, who did run moonshine before NASCAR. He says this is something he thought he would never see. You know, I told my mom early on when she was trying to convince me I shouldn't race, I said, Mom, this is going to get good. But I didn't realize it was going to get this good. Moonshiner. Aniston native and actor Rodney Clark knew about the Allisons and Red Farmer before starting his acting career. He says this is equal parts history lesson. How does he think he's going to go about organizing a bunch of outlaws? And a great story. Majority of people don't know this, the history that's in this play. That the fact that the fact that NASCAR grew out of bootlegging and moonshine. People I talked to said, "What?" Playwright Elizabeth Gregory Wilder came up with the idea after seeing something on the history of moonshine and racing. And I thought it was a, an interesting piece of our culture that I didn't know anything about. And I think as a writer, I'm always looking for stories that sort of um, are the untold stories of American culture and specifically the American South. The play opens tonight and runs through May 7th at the Alabama Shakespeare Festival. In Montgomery, Al Ratcliffe, CBS 42 News.